having as good a season as anybody in the country leading the ACC in scoring. They're going to need his points today, especially against that zone. Three zone. And a good rejection there, right with a putback attempt. Moses Wright, 18 points against Nebraska with the finish. And he's a very lanky performer down low for Georgia Tech. Bayheim to trigger. Syracuse averaging 69 points per game. They're giving up 63. The deep three by Hughes. And that's a good sign for Jim Bayheim. Nice find over the top. And as you said, Hughes has been their leading scorer. He's had a hasn't shot it as consistently as I think Jim Beheim wants, but what a start to the year he's had. 58% from the field is Joseph Girard learning how to distribute more, and Elijah Hughes from the corner again. Nice to get two buckets early from him. This offense needs it, has really struggled. That's his shot in transition, the three. No, not many better in the country than Elijah Hughes, who has all of their points. Again, a guy hits one, especially a guy who's accustomed to scoring the ball. DeVoe is a crafty offensive player. Hughes is red hot, and he has 12 points. I think he hit that one from Savannah. 44 Hall of Fame seasons for Jim Beheim with 950 wins. And Buddy Beheim adds to the three party. They're raining threes in Atlanta. Kind of tread water here, I think, without Jose Alvarado. Dola Jai and Sidibe with a follow. With that front line of Georgia Tech, of Moses Brown and James Banks, and how, man, both these teams, you'd think these, this was the Rockets and the Warriors. Well, Georgia Tech, before that bucket, last scored at the 19 minute mark. Here's Gerard and converting. You know, the other thing from Syracuse, they've been very good in transition this year, statistically. Ooh. Back door by Dolajada Hughes. Wow. It's a backdoor cut in the nation's leading shot blocker. Bubba Parham's an interesting story. Came out of VMI and Southern Conference scoring lead of last year. And a back door to Banks. You like that changeup? Well, it's the cover down on shooters. The zone hasn't done it. And look at this, Elijah Hughes. On the court, but off the court as well. I'm sure it's very difficult. Inside. And that's a big boy play by James Banks. Send the foul. Defensively, and also, of course, in the zone, a linchpin defender. As Defoe finds Banks, and he missed the slam. And you almost have to make a choice because you got to call something. And right with a follow up slam. Michael Devoe to Moses Wright. Now Washington. Sidibe. Well done by Barama Sidibe. And it counts. It's all about the rebound, he said. That's where it starts. And minus 2.1 for the season as Wright converts. Tell you what, you get him within 10 feet, Chris, it's deadly. To find no shooters for Syracuse. Bayheim for three. It's too late. Baba Parham to Vaux. Cole from the elbow. And that's good offense. Dolajai fighting for the rebound. Hughes. He has simply been money. Unbelievable. Yeah, Hughes' but career I high. I didn't think he was there. I didn't think so either, but Dolajai converts. Hughes' career high is 28 points. He has 22. You've got to hit that guy at the foul line. I mean, throw it to him. There it goes. Now an open three for Phillips, I mean, and he hits it. Who told you he was the hardest worker on the team? Him? No, actually, Adrian Autry. Oh, all right. Associate head coach. What are the dogs, Chester and Scooter? I think so, yes. Moses right on the back door. No, I would concur. Moses right. Wow. And Sadibi in the air. And a swap by Hughes. Doing it on both ends. Sadibe. Take it away. One shot. Last shot. Okay. <laughs> I got this. You come away with nothing. That's deflating. 
Empty possessions for Georgia Tech. Buddy Beheim with the three. He becomes eligible on the 18th of this month. Yeah, that's very important as they expect him to be a linchpin on the offensive end and another three. Determined. I get your point. There's still a lot to be determined about this Syracuse team. Offensively, though, they have been a juggernaut today. Shoot the ball or continue to shoot it anywhere near the way they have today. They're going to be tough. Answer by Moses Wright. As Hughes lit up Georgia Tech, but now turns it over. Parham on the break. Oh, he went what over a move him. by DeVoe. He went over him. He did. Uh, seven up. There were some good games, man, they came up with. DeVoe off the mark. Gerard to Beheim. His shot. Look out. Buddy Beheim, red hot. Yeah, he's five points for matching his career high, which he set against Bucknell at the Dome November 23rd. Khalid Moore knocks down the three. Period of time with Coach K, and he's just... That's a bad turnover that was. Yes, it was, and they paid for it with Bubba Parham. Considering how different their personalities are. And it just goes to show you, you could win a lot of games doing it in a lot of different ways. Hughes with a two-hand slam. That's how to beat the full court pressure. Georgia Tech has only led for 37 seconds. Joseph Girard. Than I thought they did at times last year. They seem like they're extremely comfortable at the moment. Parham with contact and hits the three. Out of position playing the point for the injured Jose Alvarado. What a pass. Dolajai, the finish. It made life difficult. Plus 10 rebound differential for Syracuse as Banks converts on the putback. In the year, even though NC State was playing without DJ Funderburk and Markel Johnson. Another turnover leading to a bucket for Buddy Beheim. Another under the radar team in the ACC. Who's on your radar? Well, how about the job Virginia Tech's doing, too? Yeah. 0 1 in the ACC for the Orange. Backdoor Dolajai <laughs> to Elijah Hughes. As he's at 30 points. They continue the defensive intensity. Hughes from three. Man, oh man. Can you say brilliant, Elijah Hughes? And consider what he had against Iowa the other night with 10 points. Season low, they blanketed him, they smothered him. There are five bodies around him as Moses Wright finishes. That's good symmetry. 33 for 33. Get it? I do. Very good symmetry. Bayheim. The Bayheim and Hughes show. Moses Wright. Really pretty much the only answer that Georgia Tech has. How's that? Are you going sources on me? Is this, I am going is this sources. What you're yes. Doing? Sources? sources close to the team. Asante Price with a three. Opening night ACC games end up being huge for the two teams that won them. Jesse Edwards with the slam. How much credit do you give to Syracuse's offense or the lack of contested shots from Georgia Tech's defense? In a game like this, it's a combination of both. No, it's not a good sign for Josh Pastor and Edwards. The easy two. Washington. The lob. Edwards. Well done. Jesse Edwards as they tie their season high in points. Like his uh, little facial hair, we <laughs> identify on that. Michael DeVoe from three, his second three of the game. And that is going to wrap it up. Syracuse. Brilliance from start to finish for Jim Beheim.